Moving now to uh, agenda item number six. This is your council appointments to other organisations um, in the community. Ms Gilbert. Thank you, Your Worship. <coughs> um, obviously, there's a large number of other organisations that council make appointments, makes appointments to. Some of these are for statutory reasons. There are um, trusts created um, by central government. There's also a bunch of organisations that relate to other central and regional government activities that this district has a keen interest in that it wishes to make appointments to. Um, these, these appointments are probably best divided into those that are essential and those that are optional. Um, the other things to bear in mind is the role of the appointee. It's really important to look at what's the relationship between council and those organisations. Um, I'd particularly like to draw your attention to the fact that the Office of the Auditor General has advised that it's better not to appoint councillors as trustees to organisations where council has a funding relationship with the trust. And the essence of the, the, the reasoning is that if a councillor is a trustee, then there are um, obligations that fall on that councillor as a trustee that may at times be in conflict with their role as a councillor. Um, but also when, the, when there's a funding arrangement, um, there's a question raised about which hat a councillor might be wearing if the trust is seeking funding from council. You have in your papers schedules two and three for addressing both the essential and the non-essential appointments. Um, and what I would suggest is that you may wish to make the appointments to the Schedule 1 organisations because those are essential and then review the list of Schedule 2 organisations to see if there are any that you um, at this stage prefer not to make an appointment to and then go through to make appointments to your revised list of Schedule 2 appointments. Okay, so on page 6 bar 4 we'll start with the essential appointments. Schedule 1. All right, Ms. Gilbert. And the first one there is the Tutamahuta Reserve uh, Trust, Maori Land Trust. Uh, two elected members, four meetings per annum, uh, and they call for two council laws. Councillor Dunnard? Allowed to say that? Can't nominate yourself. <laughs> <coughs> Councillor King? I'd like to nominate Councillor Mike Dunnard. I'll second that. <laughs> Better that someone wants to go on it. <laughs> you should be commended for your enthusiasm, Councillor Downard. As always, it's uh, it's infectious. Uh, Your Worship, just remember that these appointments have to go through the Mary Land Courts, and there is a procedure and a time lapse in in doing that. I'm presently um, on that Tutamahuta Trust. It's a long time. I can stand down, or I can, I can continue. It's, it's up to the councillors. Well, it's also good to know whether <coughs> you continue. So, yeah. would you yeah, like yes. to continue? Yeah, yeah, no, I've got no problem. Yeah. Councillor Johnson. I'd like to nominate Councillor. So nominated. Second. Uh, Councillor Kevin seconded. Any further nominations to the Tutamahuta Reserve Maori Trust Land Trust? Being none, all in favour? Aye. Carried. Uh, Waipahihi C75 Reserves, Reverse Trust, Reserves Trust, my apologies. Uh, Maori Land Trust, this is the land that goes right around the front of um, Manu Wells and around this area here. Uh, does it have to be the Mayor and the CEO, does it, Mr Williams? We are currently on the trust. Oh, that's what that's saying here. Process, yeah. We are too, yeah. And that's been a long process too, as Councillor Hickling pointed out. <coughs> Uh, so I will call for uh, nominations again, please. Confirm the present nominations, uh, yeah. Your Worship. Didn't I do the previous ones? No. Oh, oh, okay, yep, fine. For, for the C75. Yep, uh, I okay. think we've Move. got to reconfirm that, I assume. Yeah. Sure. So moved. Seconded. Yeah, question. Fine. Thank you. Um, can, can this be altered? Who, how, what members are on that? Can it be changed? Yes. Yep, we're just pointing out who's on there at the moment to you. Right, can an extra councillor be added if, they, if there was... No, we don't, set, we don't no. set the terms of reference that's, oh, right. that's uh, on that. We, yeah. That's been set up 
years ago. It's how that piece of land is operated. And you, we, we don't have power over, over Maryland Trusts. So was that seconded what Councillor Hickling proposed? No, it wasn't, I don't think. Seconded, please. Councillor Johnson, all in favour? Right. Lake Taubo Arts Festival Trust, uh, one elected member, and that role is as an observer. I don't think that person has voting powers, does it? It's just to observe, no, is that right? That's right. Yeah. Uh, but we uh, have an agreement that we do have a person on that, um, on that trust. Uh, Councillor Johnson? I would like to nominate Akilah Williams. She's had lot of history with that, but it makes logical sense if it's okay with her, obviously, because she has been the chair, so I'm not sure what's happening there. I'll second And I'll ask Councillor Williams if she'd oh, like I'd to accept. I'd just like to quickly explain that uh, I have checked with senior officers plus the council legal representative, because we do have some quite large organis organisational matters going on at present, um, and so the idea is to phase in a new chair and... So uh, I understand there's not going to be no conflicts in the next six months, so therefore I'd very happily put my name forward and there will be a new chair appointed within the next six months. Right, okay. So that was uh, moved and it was set, uh, moved Johnson, seconded down it, I think. Um, any further nominations? There being none, all in favour? So carried. Tapu Topo Nui Atia Joint Management uh, Group. Two elected members, they do have votes, they are voting members, and they are to be uh, four meetings per annum, and two councillors for their please. Uh, question. Yes? Who has been on in the past? Good question. Uh, Catherine Hugh Fogham was one of them. And uh, Councillor Andrew Welsh was right. the Who's previous one. That's right. Yeah. <coughs> okay, we have no continuity there, so we need to nominate two people. Do you want to give a little bit of an overview, uh, Ms McLeod, of... Of, of the operations and what they actually do so we can garner some interest for people that may be interested in it? Sure. Um, the, this particular uh, management group, it doesn't have any legal status, but <coughs> some time ago uh, there was an agreement that was signed between um, the Ministry for the Environment, ourselves, uh, uh, Environment Waikato, and um, the uh, Te Whara Murray Trust Board. And basically that agreement was to prepare a... Um, an integrated management plan for um, for the lake, um, of which the Lake Topo Protection Project actually dropped out of. Um, what was created was what was called the, the Tapu Nuiatea Action Management Plan. And basically what this group does is actually oversee the implementation of that plan. Now where we're at at the moment is that um, there's about 100 actions um, sitting in that, in that plan about 72% of those actions are either underway or completed, um, but there are a number of you know, sort of fairly big issues that, that are still uh, current um, that, that that group um, monitors the, the implementation of. And uh, they make submissions to the, <coughs> the various bodies who are jointly involved in this group um, through their annual plan process or their um, long-term council community plan process. Um, and the, I guess the main aim of the group is to actually promote dialogue between the, the agencies who are involved. Department of Conservation is also involved in that group and um, the Lakes and Waterways Action Group. Okay, so any further, anybody want anything more about that before I call for nominations? Okay, I call for nominations for two members, please, or as many nominations as you'd like to, to make, however. So, um, personally, I would... The, t the terms of reference do say two elected members. Yeah, but I can have six nominations and go, go to the vote. That's yes, absolutely. Right. I need a minimum of um, So uh, I personally would like to nominate um, <coughs> Councillor uh, Barry Hicklin. And secondly, Councillor Kirk. Any further nominations? Um, I just have a question. Um, Ms McLeod mentioned that the, um, there was the, the protection committee dropped out and from the membership of this group. Could you just elaborate a little more on that? Sure, I probably it was the language I used. The, yeah. the Lake Taupo Protection Project, um, if you like, evolved as a consequence of, of that particular piece of, piece of work. So it's morphed into this? Um, this was the, the higher level group that looked at all the values associated with the lake. The Lake Protection Project is just one part because that concentrates on the nitrogen component 
whereas this group actually looks at the, at, at the, um, the broader uh, issues and values associated with the lake. There's about 14 values that have been identified, like, for example, um, access to the lake, um, uh, cleaning, uh, cleanliness in terms of um, freedom from rubbish, uh, recreation values, um, commercial values. So it has got a broader focus. In view of the fact that the lake goes from here to the other end, I'd like to nominate uh, Councillor Henderson for this uh, job. <laughs> Councillor Henderson would probably be a great nomination, but he, he might say to you, but it's going this way, the lake. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I have a second? <laughs> well, yeah, having learned a little more about it, how it works, it's possibly appropriate that I do accept the nomination. So I think I heard a second row here from Councillor Kepper. Any further nominations to this? So just as an overview, this is a, 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 a committee that has an umbrella completely right across lake water quality issues. Um, it, it is not to be confused with the Lake Taupo Protection Trust, which only has one goal, and our goal is to remove nitrates. We don't do anything else in that committee. We don't talk about rubbish in the lake. We talk about getting nitrates out of the lake. Think about the soil well-being. This is a social, social economic, well -being, environmental, yeah. economic. Yeah. OK, Councillor Johnson. Um, who funds this committee and where is it based? Um, it, it actually doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't have a funding per se. Um, the individual um, members uh, fund their components of it. Um, you'll see that when we uh, put our annual plan together, one of the things we do is go back and have a look at the, the action plan to see whether or not there are actions that we should be undertaking and therefore funding through our annual plan. Um, like, for example, we've been um, gradually removing the um, uh, long drop toilet, toilets around the lake. You know, that's that's one example of um, an action that might that's associated with that plan. But it really is in an advocacy role. Advocacy and um, integrated yeah. planning role. Mm. Which yeah, we we fund a few two members. Lake Taupo Reserve Management and Administration Forum has uh, one elected member. It meets as it's needed. It is a, 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 a councillor from here, and that council does have voting rights. Um, we didn't actually put the, uh, the, the two members to the table here. Oh, to the vote. We had yes. Councillor Hickling and Councillor Henderson both nominated, both seconded. Call for any further nominations. Being none, all those in favour? Right. Carried. My apologies. Lake Taupo Reserve Management and Administration Forum, one elected member. Do you want to just talk quickly, uh, briefly on that, um, Ms McLeod, and explain to them what it is? Um, I think I might hand this one over to, to Ms oh, Gilbert. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Ms. You. Gilbert. <laughs> Thank you. Thank um, you. On page 6 bar 7, um, you'll see at item 5, we have a brief summary of the functions of the Lake Taupo Landing Reserve Management and Administration Forum. Um, essentially, it's a mechanism for cooperation between Department of Internal Affairs and DOC in relation to um, reserves, lawns, parking, landscaping, and the administration of concessions um, in, on land that surrounds, that is under the control of DOC or DIA um, around the lake. Um, my understanding is that the, um, the duties of this forum are not onerous. I'd really like someone to consider... Um going on that because it, it, it's really fast coming on us that we've got a great harbour master at the moment. We have a will out there to um, uh, to utilise those type of assets better and I think that this person on that committee is very integral to the future for the district going forward. Councillor Downer? I'd like to nominate Councillor Anna Kirk. Councillor Kirk. Nominate Councillor Kirk. Any seconder? Seconded by Councillor Johnson. Any further uh, nominations? Okay, being none, all those in favour? Aye. Aye. Councillor Kirk, congratulations. 